I think he'll be remembered very fondly. Brian Mulrooney's family has been coming to this neighborhood diner for years. When he would come in, you could tell this person had a command of the room. Um, and it was a, in a positive way. He had a very sort of nice smile. For some customers, even brief encounters with the former prime minister were memorable. He just chatted, just the sort of stuff, you know, how are you, nice day. Born in Bay Como. We're going to build a brand new Canada. Mulrooney became a large political figure in Quebec, trying to unify the country by appealing to Quebecers. He believed sincerely that recognition of Quebec's uh, distinctiveness, Quebec's specificity within Canada, uh, was not an obstacle to Canada's unity, but rather uh, an added value to the country. But Mulrooney's attempts to have that recognized in the Constitution through the Meech Lake and Charlottetown Accords ultimately failed. People at that time thought that they were rejected, thought that there was no place for Quebec within the country. Quebec will slowly but surely and calmly, hopefully, uh, move uh, towards uh, independence. I don't think very much of Prime Minister Mulroney. I think he's the author of the destruction of Canada. Lucien Bouchard was a close friend of Mulroney's and a cabinet minister in his government. But after the first failed accord, he split from his longtime friend and went on to form the sovereignist Bloc Québécois. Their friendship was fractured. The political feuds were such that it was very difficult. Uh, our respective ego were young, full of ambitions and determinations. It took decades, but Bouchard says the two had recently made amends. We had reconciled. But very late, too late, so many years lost for our friendship. Bouchard says he'll remember Mulrooney as a leader who always looked forward and wasn't afraid to take huge political risks. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal. World leaders are also sharing condolences. U.S. President Joe Biden saying he saw firsthand Mulrooney's commitment to the friendship between our two nations, as well as his abiding love for Canada. And from Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, Brian Mulroney's government was the first in the Western Hemisphere to recognize Ukraine's independence in 1991. He called the relationship a true friendship. 